Hi, I'm Mark Bittman, and I'm here on behalf of Signature Kitchen Suite. And I'm in the beautiful waterfront of San Diego because there's an amazing fish market here. It's a fish market that's run by fishermen. So these are people who know that by fishing sustainably, they can maintain their way of life. It's a really cool example of why we should be buying local and knowing our producers. Let's go meet some of them right now. Hey, Dan. Nice to meet you. Great to meet you. Uh, so happy to be here. So welcome to the Tuna Harbor Dock. It's incredible. It's so gorgeous. Yeah. It's just like, what a great feeling. Well, let me show you some of the vendors that we have here and some of the some of the items that we feature here locally yeah. in Southern Let's California. Go. So here we have the Bigfoot's booth here, and this one is a, a federal fishery. Those are mine. Same here. And so. This is one of our most sustainable fisheries that we have here on the coast because these gentlemen do this all with hook and line. So, you know, bycatch is really kept to a minimum. Can imagine. And our federal ground fish stocks have been rebuilt and we've actually received more quota from, from the federal government, which is awesome. So we're now being allowed to fish more. And this is a very, very sustainable fishery here. So here, Mark, we have my booth, Plan B Sustainable Fisheries. Honestly. Here we go. So the California sheephead here. This one is a state-managed fishery, very sustainable fishery, because we are subject to a size limit. We have a season and a quota. So with all that in mind, with that management plan, it is impossible to overfish this species of fish. And you were saying, actually, that we want to eat these because they're eating. Yes, yes. We want to eat, and I encourage people to eat the California sheephead because they are one of the main predators of the California spiny lobster. So by eating this sheephead here, you're doing us a service, lobster fishermen, a service by, by helping us keep this population under control. OK, last but not least, this is our fish cleaning facility that we have. We offer this to the public. So they purchase their so you fish. you buy down here and you bring, buy down oh, here, you bring it here, and we can have it prepared in a variety of ways. So they, they clean the fish, they can fillet it, they can steak it, uh, they could gill and gut it, so you could prepare it whole. So the people could choose their fish from the booth, bring it here, have it cleaned, and go home with a fully cleaned fish. Fabulous. And then whatever isn't used or, or taken to be consumed, is taken back out to sea by the fishermen to use as bait. So the crab and lobster fisheries, all these trap fisheries. So we recycle everything. Great resource, really great. Such a terrific market. You have a sort of interesting story and it's largely about sustainability. So I know that it's a concern of yours to try to find fish that's well managed, that is sustainable, that is taken in the right numbers and so on. And I'm, I'm curious about that process and I'm curious where it's led you to now. Okay, when I started fishing, there were very little regulation in a lot of these fisheries. We'll use the California sheephead as an example. I helped the state California Department of Fishing game uh, biologists to find out what the biomass was. So they made a management plan for it. Biomass basically means you're figuring out roughly. How many tons. How many tons yes. of fish, how many fish are out there. Right, right. And how many you can take so that they can still maintain their, their biomass, yes. their numbers. A healthy stock. So they created a quota system. They also created the size. And so we have the size, the season, and the quota. So overfishing becomes impossible at that point. It's a great example of, of sustainability with the state of California. What's interesting is that you've developed this sustainable fishery. You have the right people doing it. You have this amazing market where you're selling direct to consumers. How do you educate people about what to buy? by getting these people down to the dock, get out of the supermarket, come down to the market, 
Meet your local fisher. Learn about the product, the way they catch it, how they handle it, and even how to prepare it. We share everything all the way to the finished product. In a situation where people are not as open and friendly and transparent as they are at this market, which is the case for a lot of the country, what are you looking for when you're in a store or when you're talking to a fisherman? Okay, so smell being a huge factor. Does it smell? Right. Because it shouldn't. Does it have a slime over it? Is it miscolored, coloration? Is it soft or is it firm? It should be firm. Eye coloration uh, should be clear. Those are the, the big, big factors. We've talked a lot about sheep's head. I'd like to get into a little bit of, about what that's like in the kitchen and what it's like to cook that. That is like the, in the rockfish and or basses category, but softer in texture, flaky, a very nice and easygoing fish, especially for people who are afraid of fishy fish. So we have this beautiful piece of sheep's head. You've worked so hard to bring it to us. What's the best way to do it? How'd you do it the last time you did it? Last time I did it, I was lucky enough to have sous vide it. I incorporated roasted garlic and shallot, green onion, ginger, lightly seasoned in the sous vide bag, 129, 30 minutes, just like a steamed fish straight from a dim sum restaurant. That's so cool. And you know, you could do that technique with any white filet anywhere in the country. It's going to work great, and you can vary the seasonings, chili and lime, or butter and garlic and parsley or tarragon. Another thing that's really cool to do is you do that sous vide thing, and then 30, 60 seconds in a pan on gas stove, just a little fat, just to crisp it up a bit, and that is a beautiful thing. Well, I want to say thanks, Dan. It was really great seeing the market and being on your boat, and getting to chat with you for a while. A great day for me. Well, you're certainly welcome. Thanks for coming out. Take care.